Ooh, there's something nice about this. I'm walking the dog down by the River Trent. It's snowing, as you can see. Uh, I've got a nice single malt and a hit flask. Uh, I'll open that after I've done the video. Um, I want to talk to you today about uh, um, a concept, an idea. I'm convinced it's um, a big part of being a successful um, buy-to-let property let, portfolio landlord. Um, definitely in the early days, uh, it will get you over the the difficult early, yeah, one, two, three, four, five property stage. Um, to illustrate it, I'll tell you a little story. Uh, you might have heard it already. It's uh, it's out there in popular culture. Uh, it's a, it, it, they call it the, the Stanford Marshmallow Test and uh, it was a scientific experiment, social experiment. And um, I'll sort of paraphrase the... Uh, I've read it, I made, made sure I read it before I recorded the video. Uh, but I'll paraphrase the science. Put children in a room and the psychologists gave them a choice. You can have one marshmallow now or if you wait, you can have two. And they measured the results. It was a test on delayed gratification, wasn't it? You know, would you wait for more? Would you be patient? And uh, the important part of the study was then, later on in life, the same researchers found the same group of people. And they said, you know, did, did ask questions, got questionnaires filled in, you know, collated all the information and yeah, all things like yeah, their personal relationships, how happy they were, how um, uh, successful they were, how much money they had, how, how wealthy they were, uh, their, their financial outcome as well. And I think you could probably already tell, I know what, they, what the, uh, the conclusion was. Those people who were able to delay and wait for the second marshmallow we're generally speaking happier, more fulfilled, and financially better off. And I think it's a really key um, idea when you're building your property portfolio, those first early days. Um, it's an important concept. Building a property portfolio is capital intensive, and it does also throw off little pots of cash here and there every now and again. Um, There'll be cash in the bank, and sometimes that's tempting. Yeah, it could be that's a new car, that's a new kitchen, it's holidays for the year, um, whatever. My message to you is if you can delay that gratification for the first five houses, at least, yeah, obviously more the better, but at least the, the, the five, and they might be the most frustrating. Um, they might be the hardest ones because you're probably not seeing quite the results that you want straight away. So, you know, it really is testing you to delay that gratification. Um, if you can hold off until you've got the five properties under your belt, the income from those five properties is going to start to put money back in your pot and it will gradually make things easier and easier. Um, you'll start to see the results, you'll start to appreciate it. Let me just uh, crack you the, uh, the River Trent is almost flooded um, yeah if you can get yourself past those first five by uh, a bit of bootstrapping you know um, delay in the gratification then it will definitely pay dividends um, yeah. is that driving a drive an old banger for a few years not moving house not having a couple of holidays here and there Looking back to those bootstrapping periods, and I didn't even you know, think about this video recording it. I was just and I was seriously trying to think, you know, what, what is it that uh, some of the differences that made the differences to me? And this was definitely one of them. Looking back to those periods when I was bootstrapping my business, I have to say they were some of the most fun times, you know. Um, I don't definitely don't look back and think uh, I was I was doing out doing without or it was um, a bit of hardship. And also thinking back to some of the times when. Um, I did finally get the reward. I remember uh, having a conversation with a very good friend of mine and we both bought a Porsche at pretty much the same time. And he remarked to me, I was so excited about it. We, we'd both wanted him off for a long time. And uh, I don't know, I don't know, I've known Dave for a long time. And uh, he said, how long did it take for that excitement to wear off? About a week? Yeah, about a week. So even when you get it, um, 
sometimes it's not uh, it's not all it cracked out. I mean, it was a very nice car, and I still still like it. But you know, it, it's not really the be all and end all. Actually, I would much rather have um, that safe, nice, warm feeling of um, having built a property portfolio, delayed the gratification, and um, that would definitely make you feel <laughs> a lot happier than buying all those shiny things in the in the, the moment. We have this, whether it's the kitchen, the holiday, the the Porsche, or whatever. Um, having an income that means you don't have to work um, making money while you sleep that's the that's the goal that's the comfort that's the thing you should be shooting for so um, I recorded a, a video series how to uh, build a buy to let property empire I'll put a link into it below there that's it there you go. The, river, the river has flooded I don't know if you can see it behind me I can't, can't get past there so um, yeah, so so uh, I'll put a link in there, and uh, yeah, maybe you want to check that out. And we also we run a, a, a weekly discovery call. So uh, if you want to get any questions answered on how to build a property portfolio or run it, uh, join us on the call, and we can answer your questions there. So hopefully, see some of you soon. Hopefully, that's been useful. I'll speak to you next week.